Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Virgo. Virgo, this is your monthly general reading for January 2020. Alright, so this is an intuitive read. I am using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme and energy for you this month. I'm pulling from the Archangel Gabrielle Oracle. I will be using the Madame Andorra Tarot. And I will be doing your monthly general messages with the Grand Lux Tarot. And at the end of your reading, Virgo, I will be pulling several life purpose oracles for you as well. Beautiful. So we have the energy of the Fool coming up here. Powerful and amazing. And what a perfect time. This is a new beginning period for January 2020. It's a, it, it's a new energy, a new vibration. So very powerful. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know in January 2020? Spirit, thank you so much. My fellow Virgos. Deserving. Love it. All right. Virgo spirit. Oops. And we're ready. Okay. We have the black cat. Your luck will soon change. All right. I see this is a good omen. Love it. All right, spirit. Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. What does Virgo need to know? January 2020. Thank you, spirit. Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. Thank you, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? January 2020. Thank you. All right, we're ready. Situation. We have the Eight of Swords. Crossing you. My goodness, the Nine of Swords. Your foundation is the King of Swords. Recent past energies, we have the Page of Wands. Crowning you is the Four of Swords. Your new circumstance is the High Priestess. All right. You have the Star coming in here with the position of what you need to know. Your environment is the Seven of Coins. All right, your advice from spirit is the queen of wands. You can do this, Virgo. Love it. Your outcome energy is the empress. Okay. Give me just a moment. You know, you guys, I'm a Virgo sun and Virgo rising. Okay? So when the eight and nine of swords come up and that sword energy, I, I completely get it and understand it. And I hope you guys do too. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's not bad. It's all in the way you look at it and how you perceive it. Okay? And Virgos, we like to learn. Um, we like to get to the bottom of things. Um, and I, I always feel like that's why the, the sword energies always come up. Okay? Because we like to dive deep, don't we? All right. Give me just a moment here. So we do have the number sequence, two, three, and four, and seven, eight, and nine, okay? Let's start here. The Fool. I feel like it's a fresh start, a new beginning for January 2020, all right, Virgo? Uh, this is a new adventure. This is a new decade, okay? This is where a, a new beginning starts. I feel like it's going to be very important not to be so hard on yourself and be so serious. It's going to be very important for you to let that inner child shine and have a free spirit at this time. And that requires you to take a leap of faith, faith and trust in yourself as well as in spirit here. All right? Because it's here for you. And this new beginning could be a new beginning in many areas of your life. We have deserving. You, like all God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Exactly. 
Know your worth. You know, it's time to do for you, Virgo. Okay? It's time to refill your cup. Thank you, Spirit. You deserve it, Virgo. You're always running around helping everybody else. And it's time for you to do something special and good for yourself. And a lot of times we can block ourselves and keep ourselves from receiving something or receiving what we deserve because we're running around tending to everybody else. And it's going to be an important time because you need to be open to receive because you have many blessings coming your way and Spirit wants you to be ready for it. The black cat, your luck will soon change. I love this. Like I said, this is a good omen. Okay? I feel like this is unexpected change right here. Uh, it could be an unexpected new beginning right here or a blessing that's coming in, but it's really going to change your situation. Uh, I feel like it's going to bring in some happiness and this uh, happy change of luck for you. I'm getting the wheel of fortune in my mind's eye here. So, amazing energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgo. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords is, you know, that that energy where we can oftentimes self-sabotage ourselves, being overcritical with ourselves, overthinking, overanalyzing, okay? This oftentimes represents that we're limiting and restricting ourselves, and there's a need to take the blindfold off here. You have everything that you need, all the power within yourself and all the tools to do so, okay? And this could have to do with this, you know, Nine of Swords energy in your crossing position as well. Maybe being overwhelmed, having a lot on your plate, okay? This oftentimes represents a great deal of anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, okay? I feel like it's going to be very important for some of you to set up some boundaries and start checking in with Virgo and taking care of Virgo. Make sure you're refilling your cup. This is going to be a time to ground yourself as well. Like I said, you have blessings coming in here. You have the Empress as your outcome energy. Spirit says you're deserving, Virgo. You have opportunities and blessings coming. Your luck will soon change, and you need to be ready for it. And if you're stuck in this energy right here, that means you're not going to be open and ready. You may miss it. You may not see the opportunity that comes before you because you're overanalyzing or overthinking it. All right? Thank you, Spirit. Now, we do have the King of Swords, whether you're male or female. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in your foundation. And I feel, you know, because this is what's moving you forward and driving you this month. This is when you're going to step into your power. You're going to come from a space, okay, enough is enough. I'm coming out of this Eight and Nine of Swords energy. I'm standing in my truth. I'm setting boundaries. You know, I'm being very straightforward, outspoken, okay, about what it is that Virgo wants, okay. And you're going to be very assertive. And when I say assertive, you know, you're willing to set those boundaries. You're willing to let go of anything that's not serving your best purpose or interest at this time. You're realizing how important it is to protect your energy and refill your cup. So you're doing what's right for you. And this is what's needed at this time, okay? For some of you, I really feel like in some area when we're talking about justice, uh, I don't know why this is, you know, this is coming through very strong, okay? Give me just a moment. Some of you are dealing with a legal situation. Um, you're dealing with a financial, maybe an inheritance, uh, maybe it's probate. I, I'm not clear on what it is. Justice will be served, and I do see compromises and agreements that could be made in the month of January for you, okay? So that's coming through very strong from spirit. All right. Thank you, spirit. Now we have the page of wands in your recent past energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for many of you, you recently had a creative vision, a fresh idea, that aha moment. Something that you have a lot of passion. This could have reignited your passion for something. Okay. Uh, this talks about you having the self-confidence and going after something that you truly want. Some of you could have recently received news or messages um, in the form of an email, phone call, maybe about a new job 
or maybe it has to do with this new beginning maybe it's a new career maybe it's you going after something that you know is very exciting to you and being a Virgo myself a lot of times even if it's something very positive and good we can still get caught up in this eight and nine energy okay so you're gonna be fine Virgo you're gonna be fine because this is what you're doing. You're taking time out here with the Four of Swords to go within and pause and reflect here. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the Hermit energy, which is the Virgo energy, right? Uh, you know, for some of you, this is definitely needing to take a temporary retreat physically, mentally, spiritually. Uh, I do feel for the majority of you, though, this is you checking in with Virgo right here, understanding how important it is to make sure that you're rejuvenating yourself. This is you getting ready to receive these blessings that are coming your way. <clears throat> I love this. High Priestess, New Circumstance. This is you embodying this energy. This is you understanding how that psychic energy is flowing within you and through you and how it works and you tapping into it. For many of you, you know, you're starting a new beginning here and you're really listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance. Some of you are pausing and reflecting, going with the end, and seeking out answers within yourself. And that's awesome, because that's where you're going to find it, okay? And I do, am getting a sense here, for some of you, uh, this aha moment or this new beginning or, or something that's coming about, if this message is for you, you're going to know it when you hear it. You may want to keep it on the down low. You may not want to talk about it with anybody else, okay, especially if it's an idea or something that where somebody could take that from you or steal it from you, okay, I feel for many of you who are stepping into your spiritual and psychic gifts, and this is an amazing energy, now we have the star, the energy of Aquarius coming up here in the position of what you need, for many of you, uh, what you need to know, for many of you, this is you allowing a healing to take place. You're refilling your cup. Many of you are, you know, receiving a lot of spiritual downloads, messages from spirit, your spirit guides, your ascended masters, okay, your angels. And you're open to receiving that. And you're, you're doing this through meditation. And it's allowing for you to really listen and trust your intuition about what you're taking action on. For some of you, you're going after a dream, you're realizing it's within reach, and you're understanding that you are being divinely guided at this time. Now you have the seven of coins in your environment, amazing energy right here. The seven of coins, some of you are evaluating how you're going to use your time or your money, okay? And with this coming up here in your environment, this could be you spending more time with your family, some of you may be planning a vacation. Some of you may be doing work around the house, okay? You may be thinking about remodeling or, um, you know, something that's going to require you maybe to invest a little bit of money within your home, maybe. Some of you are thinking about investing in a home business, okay? You are uh, thinking about starting it up. If you've been thinking about it, stop procrastinating, Virgo. Do it. Take action. Spirit says that... You know, especially with the Seven of Coins being here. You know, there is room here for a lot more financial stability and growth and abundance to come in here with whatever this has to do with, okay? Some of you may be remodeling your home to sell it. Some of you um, may be investing in a home, okay? Now, we have the Queen of Wands coming up here as your advice from spirit, whether you're male or female, and I love this. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is that go-getter energy. Spirit says, go. Go get it done, Virgo. Okay, take that passion, all right, that you have for whatever it is that you're going after. You can do it. This is talking about having a great deal of the courageous energy and the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you. Uh, for many of you, you have a lot of passion. You have, you have that mentor energy. You are stepping into a new, uh, maybe, role here, maybe a leadership role, maybe it's a new experience, but nonetheless, it's exciting, okay, the queen of wands, whatever she's going after, she's not going to allow anything to get in her way, and she's going to achieve it, so this is amazing, especially, you know, when you have the empress coming up here as your outcome energy, just, I love it, I love it, I love it, this talks about how grounded you are, Virgo, how nurturing you are, you know, this talks about some type of harvest coming in here, material harvest. 
what you've put out is coming back very quickly okay and you know this talks about you've planted the seeds you've nurtured them and this talks about you having a great deal of creativity as well this represents new life as well and this could be you bringing your ideas to life and there's going to be a lot of growth and expansion that comes from this so this is an amazing energy Virgo amazing thank you spirit all right Thank you, Spirit. Environmentalist. I love that. Teaching. Flowers. A lot of grounded energy here. Love it. All right. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals. Love it. Teaching, you inspire young people to learn. And I feel like this is for anybody. I, like I said a moment ago, with this Queen of Wands, you have that mentor, that teacher, that leader type energy. You have a lot to offer and share. People really feel like they can come to you, Virgo. And they can. Just make sure you're refilling your cup. Now we have flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose and this can be doing any type of uh, creative project especially when it's we're talking about you know the earth especially with the empress coming up here talking about how grounded you are getting your hands in the soil or you know walking around barefoot you know I love this energy all right my fellow Virgos I love each and every one of you with all of my heart Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Virgo.